Hello guys, welcome to App Classes. Today I am going to show you how to save an image in your storage using Kotlin. So I am going to create a new Android project, name it Save Image. So here we are ready with our application. Just copy this image in your drawable folder. So we have now an image that we are going to store in our own storage. First of all, let's go and create view for this application. I am going to change the parent layout as relative layout. Now we don't need this hello world. In the place of this, we need an image view which will be match parent, match parent. add this image ok now change the scale tab to fit xy that's cool now we need a button on click of which we will save this image change the text of button as save image and text all caps sorry false I don't like the text on the buttons as all caps so as you can see this button is uh, on the top of the image so as you want just change that layout above and give it some ID for that provide the ID to this button and as I am going to say save image so we are just right save image and align it to bottom so as you can see now here is our image here is our button and now on click of this button I have to save this image in our storage so let's go to our activity um, file there is nothing left for the designing part ok before that for saving the image in your storage you need a permission for that go to your android manifest this is permission write external storage that's it you just need one permission that is, that is write external storage now in your activity file on the click of that button save image dot set on click listener here is some permission thing we have to do for different android versions uh, android version which is greater than the lollipop you need to have the runtime permissions for that you have to do some extra effort in the coding so let me show you how you can do that dot version dot sdk int is greater than or equals to build dot version codes dot m that is marshmallow so so here I am telling that uh, the device on which this application is running if the Android version on that device is greater than or equals to Marshmallow. I am going to do something for that. Okay, we need to check permissions. So for that, I am going to use context compact dot check self permission this comma manifest dot permission dot right external storage if is not equals to package manager dot permission granted but if the permission is not granted of writing external writing in external storage so let's go and request for the permission first and uh, then go again 
for whatever you need else we have to do something so activity sorry activity compact dot dot request permission this comma array manifest dot permission dot write external storage comma here we have to define some constant on which uh, permission we are going to request and so for now let's say I am saying that the request code will be 100 alt plus insert overwrite methods on permission on request permission result here you have on request permission result so here first of all we have to check if the request code is equal equals to our 100 which we have provided above here from here if the request code is 100 it means that the permission for which I am going to work is that permission for which I have requested earlier grant result dot size is greater than 0 and and grant result at 0 equal equals to package manager dot permission granted <coughs> so it's showing that you get the permission for whatever thing you are going to do just so here we are checking that grant result is not empty and then grant result at 0 has the package manager that means the requested permission is granted so if permission not granted so that's it now we have checked for permission we have created everything now we have to do what the real thing we are going to do okay so for that I am going to create an function then let's say public fun save image to to storage so here I am ready so all the else part here that uh, if the permission is granted already so we have to do is save image to storage and if the build version is less than marshmallow that means you have already taken the permission from manifest then you have to do save image to storage and if the permission is granted on the request you have to do save image to storage well external storage state this environment environment dot external storage state now if external storage state dot equals environment dot media mounted so we have to do on this thing enable to access the storage now if we have external storage dot environment media mounted then we have to get the directory also storage directory will be environment dot get external storage directory dot that's it now file in which the image will be stored so file storage directory comma let's sorry for this thing okay add some dry cache so okay while stream 
output string is equals to sorry string put string is equals to file output string with file so we are creating the output string with our file we are need that image file that is saved in our drive drawable dot get drawable application context dot dot drawable dot one so here we are getting the image from the drawable folder to change this drawable edge bitmap dot compress as you can see it needs format then compress format then quality quality integer then it's stream which is thing and uh, now so plus and stream So run this and let's see whether it's working or not. Okay. So click on save image. It's as you can see it's so yeah, asking for permission because the Android version in this is greater than Marshmallow. I'm going to allow this. Image saved successfully. So, for making this thing more clear, let's see. We are going to make some changes. Like, uh, we are not going to set the image from here. So, I'm going to remove this thing and uh, give it some ID that saved image and on. <coughs> successfully saving of image I am going to say uh, show this image on that image view so saved image dot set image URI which will be URI dot parse file dot absolute path that's it so let's run this and see whether it's working or not and verify our thing so as you can see here no image is showing so I am going to just save this image and this image is uh, from the drawable so I am going to click this and now you can say image saved successfully and you can see this image which is saved in our memory so thank you guys thanks for watching and uh, if you have any queries let me know in the comment section and enjoy coding and don't forget to like this video and for more tutorial videos subscribe to my channel thank you